Now, your selection. Meet the stars. The world is under attack. Monsters are taking over. And now there's only one thing to do. Red Night Ghost, run! Ruby Snacks, running, chasing, danger. Mystery Inc. is back. Let's do it again. Unfortunately, <laughs> so is every monster they've ever faced. Black Night Ghost! <laughs> Mystery Inc. is at the peak of their success, and uh, so the only place left to go for them is down. In the embarrassing debacle, <laughs> Mystery Inc. fell far as two of the gang's key members, Shaggy Rogers and Scooby-Doo, tarnished the reputation of the once great gang. In the beginning of the movie, we find the gang at the opening of their museum exhibit. The Coolsonian is the big Coolsville Museum, and they are displaying all of the costumes of the villains that Mystery Inc. has unmasked, the mysteries they've solved. Image is everything. Okay, the whole city's watching, so try and keep a brave face. <gasps> Their costumes. Whoa, all right. <gasps> and uh, a masked figure breaks in and, and resurrects the costumes into life. And uh, all of their foes from the, from the original cartoon series come back to haunt them the entire movie. We need to come up with a plan. Hiding is our plan. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, there's an unidentified freaky object in here. It was very cool to see everybody's perception of, of the monsters, and, and, and I think they stay very true to what they were in the cartoon, which, which I thought was the most important thing. Mystery Incorporated! Once again, you have proven useless before my power. Because of you, soon Coolsville will be mine. Fred Jones is sort of, he's, gotten everything that he feels sums up success. Fred, bring it. He brought it. And so he's very happy. And the moment he gets it, it's all sort of ripped away from him and taken away. And, and all his manliness is, is gone with it because he thinks he has to have this sort of macho facade. And if he doesn't, then no one, will, no one in Coolsville will think he's cool. Shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. What could possibly happen by ringing a doorbell? Things are definitely changing for Daphne. She, in the first movie, was very, very insecure about who she was and, and what her place in the gang was. Daphne! I enjoy being a girl. She was the pretty one and that it's about that people like you and it's a really important growing lesson to understand that you have to like yourself for other people to like you and accept you. <laughs> Those so don't go with that sweater. Really? I play Velma once again. Velma! Who's your mommy? And this time, uh, we have a different mystery to solve. And Velma also has to overcome her fear of, I guess you could call it intimacy. But she has a love interest in this film, played by Seth Green. Oh, that was my outfit, I swear. In this movie, Scooby and Shaggy have a crisis of confidence. They are lost and they don't really know how they fit into Mystery Inc. We will be terrific and fantastic and spectacular and cease to be loserific, lame-tastic and sucktacular. Rah, rah, sucktacular. Through the course of the movie, they discover that uh, being themselves is what they do best and that's what they do. Everyone part like the Red Sea. It's me, Shizzy McCreepy, and my brother, S.D. McCrawley. We are in the house and ready to partay. Scooby Dooby Doo! Scooby Doo Doo! Monsters Unleashed! Don't do anything to attract attention. Hello, baby. Scooby Dooby Doo!